everyone, thanks for tuning in. Um, this is Lloyd Metcalf from Fail Squad Games. And I found this, this uh, watercolor set kept popping up in my Facebook feed. And it looked kind of cool for like a travel item. Um, I don't remember the company right now it came from, but it'll be down below in the link. It came in just this plastic box and it was thrown in a manila envelope and it got a little squished in shipping, but the product was fine when it got here. So it didn't break or anything, which is good. Um, it comes with a water brush and I'll load that later. Um, and I haven't tried this yet. So Lady Peckinpah, La Fonda and I are making this review video to sort of help everyone out and uh, take a look at this. I bought the, uh, there comes with different numbers of color palettes and 18, 24, 36, 42, I think. And I bought the one with 42. I went for the big investment. Um, it's something that I thought I'd really use when I went go to conventions. And as you can see, they all just sort of swing out. Um, the colors are organized. They're all numbered, the color tabs. I'm hoping that that means I can order replacement tabs. And uh, it looks like they do just, you could just pop them out if you want to. It's got a little mixing tray at the bottom. And it looks like a little uh, spongy sort of dabbing area. Um, I'm going to load up this water brush and we're going to try these out. Okay, loading the brush should be pretty straightforward. Um, obviously, the top comes off. The bristles look all right. It's not a pointy brush, but it's fine for general watercolor use. Screw off the handle. And we got to fill this part here with some water. I should be using a faucet, but I'm going to use my jar. All right. And there are instructions on how to do this on the back. However, not in English, so we're winging it, but it's not like this is brain surgery. We get that connected, and then you need to, you need to squeeze a little bit until some water starts to come out. And there we are. We are in action. And now, one of the things that about watercolors is um, the color fastness. So once you lay down a color, let it dry and put another one on top. Does, does that color bleed with the second color after it's dried is, the, is always the big question. Um, oh, that's kind of interesting. Um, you could make this as wet or as dry as you'd like apparently that was a that was an interesting dry stroke when I first started out I can see now why there's a dabber because you'd want to dry that out so let's get some good color on here it's taking a little work to load the brush heavily um, but it's not bad like I said for a travel watercolor set I think this is okay now I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to try to lay another color on over it and see if it behaves like I like I expect it to. I'll be right back. Okay, we're about 99.9% .9 dry here. Um, we're going to try, I'm going to try laying another color on over um, this set pigment and uh, see what happens. I'm a little... I think this... Uh, water pen might take some getting used to but I think I could learn to enjoy it um, I'm not crazy about the way the color breaks up on top of the old color you can see it sort of splits up a little bit so I don't know I, I'm I didn't expect I didn't expect uh, top pro grade watercolors with this set so it's not overly disappointing I guess it's um, you can see how that breaks up when the, when the color comes on over the old color. Um, cheap watercolors tend to do that. It doesn't, they, it, they don't incorporate into one another exactly right. And that's, there's a chemistry lesson in there that I don't know. Um, watercolors are not my forte, but generally speaking though, I'm looking at it and I don't hate the result. It's, um, it's not as great as, say, my 
uh, Windsor Newton tube watercolors, but I guess I wouldn't expect any cake to, to be. It certainly is about where I'd want it to be though. I think the big selling point for this is the is this right here. Um, the, how perfect is this for travel, you know? Um, and I think it would be, it'll be an excellent deal if I'm able to replace the cakes. I'm gonna look around online if, it, if it's possible to replace the cakes, I'll also put a link below. I'm not making any profit off of this. I just wanted, simply wanted to do a review on this kind of cool product that I saw. I hope this was helpful and I hope this helps in your purchasing decision and I hope you visit lmetcalf.com for more videos like this. Have a good day.